Hey guys, today we are going to learn about bottom navigation view. So as you can see in this demo application, I have five icons at the bottom of the screen and this is what we call bottom navigation view. Each, each icon represents a different fragment. For example, if I click this one, it displays a home fragment. This is home fragment. If you click this one, it displays dashboard fragment. If I click this one, notification fragment, logout fragment, and finally I've created one that when you click it opens an activity. So we are going to learn how to add uh, custom icons on the bottom navigation view and also uh, listen. When you click one of the icon it's going to open a fragment. When you click the other one it's going to open an activity. So to get started I'm going to begin by creating a new project. Head down to file new project select bottom navigation activity click next give it the name we can call it bottom navigation then click finish wait for the project to finish loading here once the project finished loading we are going to begin by learning it and see what we have by default so click learn remember this is our demo application so i'm going to close it So the Grado is building up. It's now installing. So by default, we have only three icons. We have home, we have dashboard, and we have notification. If I click dashboard, we have this dashboard fragment. If I click notification, this is notification fragment. So the next thing that uh, we are going to do is to add uh, two icons on the bottom we're going to add logout icon and activity icon so to generate the icon head on to files new and select vector assets then we're going to have logout click ok we are going to generate another icon here and we're going to call this one activities so i'm going to have uh, list icon check list icon now to add it just go to your menu then you'll see bottom navigation menu copy this one the item here paste it below here copy it Co paste again then head to your values strings and add a string and then we have title we have logout give it logout then have another string give it title and give it custom because this will carry our activity so i'm going to have activity here go back to your menu bottom navigation we are going to have navigation logout and then uh, we're going to change from navigation uh, notification to navigation logout and this one we're going to have uh, navigation and we're going to say navigation custom for the icon i'm going to have ic logout the one that we have generated and this one add ic uh, restore your checklist now change the title so this one will be title logout the one we have added in our strings and this will be title custom so let's learn this one again and see what we have changed so the application is now in storing there we are we have all our icons we have 
home dashboard notification uh, this one are the two icons that uh, we have already added for now they don't have listeners so the next thing we are going to do is to add the listeners so we are going to begin by adding our fragment and an activity here so create new package and call it logout create new package and say activity so within the logout we are going to have cotton class and we are going to have logout fragment and it's going to extend fragment then we are going to override a method here control o and then on create view then we are going to have an activity here an empty activity and we are going to call it custom so uh, to finish our rollout so i'm going to have as you can see even the home and the dashboard we have to but in this case we are only going to create the fragment file so what i'm going to have is comment that out and then have val loot is equal to inflator dot inflate al dot layout then we are going to create a layout file new layout file and i'm going to call it fragment logout now inside your fragment logout just add a text view here you can have a text view lab content lab content then we can add a text that is this is a logout fragment uh, give it a start at the start of palette I give it an end end of palette I just give it top top of palette and give it bottom bottom of palette now uh, go back to your fragment file have all dot layout In this case we are going to have all dot layout dot remember if you have already imported all you need to check because uh, it's causing some so in freight dot in freight in freight a resource that is all i'm going to import the all now see the all we have dot layout actually it should not be this it should be all import all dot layout dot then we have container and then we have this one is false then return return the root now go back to your okay we don't have an error so go back to your activity now custom activity create custom activity add a text here we have lab content lab content give it it a text and this we're going to have this is uh, custom activity do some alignment you can have start start of palette you can have end end of palette you can have top top of palette and we can have bottom bottom of palette now uh, after adding that go to your activity main no 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 go to your navigation and bottom navigation and here we are going to add our fragment and our activity 
So we are going to begin by fragment and the first fragment will be navigation uh, logout give it the fragment that is uh, UI logout remember the title should be that one for logout and here we have the logout then we are going to add for activity so copy paste that one but change this one to activity and then give this one to custom change this one to activity custom and this one title to custom and the fragment in this case we have activity uh, custom so back to your main activity now where we are going to add the ids so we are going to have all dot id dot uh, navigation logout and all dot id dot navigation custom now learn your project and let's see what we have it's now installing so there we are we have added these two let's see when i click logout this is logout fragment when i click this one this is custom activity so thank you guys for watching that's all we need to learn for now regarding bottom navigation view if you have an additional question please feel free to comment below and we will respond to you.